Welcome back. I'm now going to hand it off to Robin Zimmerman, who's going to chat with John Rembold about the latest airport update. John Rembold has joined me now. He is the director of the Hilton Head Airport and the Buford Executive Airport. And right. John, this is the first time on our set with you. How do you like it? It's beautiful. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's good to have you. Let's let's dive right into the terminal project because we've got some great news. Yes. So you want to share? Well, last week, uh, County Council passed a resolution that authorized the airport, directed the airport and the staff mm -hmm. to move forward with the project. So to move into the bidding phase and get the construction project rolling. And so what does that mean? And, and, and for the viewers that I think we had you on Talk at the Town, but if, mm -hmm. if someone missed that, what to kind of walk us through the new terminal and what we can expect. Sure. Well, really for a couple of years, we've been designing the terminal and it's such a long process. But it was done with a, a group of stakeholders that mm -hmm. made up the community, included the airlines, of course, included the FAA, but a lot of community partners involved as well, so that mm -hmm. the terminal will reflect Hilton Head Island. It will reflect the low country, okay. but such a long design process. But what this gives us now, this is that bridge from kind of the concept to reality. Right. And so inside will like the, the gates look different and the whole TSA piece and all of that. So the whole, is it gonna be completely remodeled? It is. So it, it's a nice little terminal now. Yeah. Okay. It's still, it's not gonna be a gigantic terminal, but we're gonna triple the size of what's there. So oh, that's, that's a pretty big improvement. It yeah. is in, in every aspect of the terminal will be improved. So it'll be more modern more airy, there'll be much more room for people to move around, um, all new baggage claim, you nice. know, everything will be new. Security checkpoint will be new, the boarding gates will have so much more room for folks to rest and wait for their aircraft. And so um, sometimes when you go into an airport, you see lots of either artwork or you see uh, sponsors or commercials from local businesses. So what, what talk about the environment. Yeah, that's a great question. So it's going to be a mix of, of course, opportunities for businesses to advertise in the airport mm -hmm. because there's a great captive yep, audience absolutely. in there. Absolutely. Um, but also to educate. You know, we want to make sure that folks who are coming to visit for the first time may be able to learn something about, say, the sea turtles, how to behave okay. properly on the beach and take care of our natural resources. Nice. But then we'll also infuse the terminal with local art and local culture because we do want people to understand that there's there's more to the island than beach tennis and golf right you know this is a has a very rich historical background so if someone wants to either advertise or contribute some art is this is still in the process oh. it is i'm working closely with jen McCune with town of hilton head island right. and we're trying to coordinate this to cool. make sure that Neat. when we get ready to go that we do it properly you were telling me before our interview that everything's just going great at the airport right now. It's busy season. We're moving into Heritage Week. And I think people don't realize that there is a lot of commercial private jets that are coming in. And, and we know the tourists are here. So yeah. is it like just one one jet after another? It, it really <laughs> is. You know, during the day, um, I'd sit there and watch them land and, and a lot of private jets are coming in. Um, so that's as business is being conducted, that's folks who are coming in to visit perhaps. But mm -hmm. I think that sometimes goes unnoticed in an airport like mm -hmm. ours, that there is a lot of business that does get conducted at the airport and, and through the airport. I appreciate my grandson was able to go up to air traffic control with his school this past weekend. And I was just thinking, that's just so amazing. That work that those air traffic controllers have to do. It's so, it's very, very tense, isn't it? It's very stressful it, it work. It definitely can be. And this, you know, this airport was traditionally a little bit more quiet, right. but it has really picked up in the last few years. So, in fact, I'm meeting with the, the company that, that works that tower tomorrow to talk about the summer because it will be a little bit busier for them. Okay. Any final messages for our community? <laughs> well, we just thank everybody for the support. This yeah. is your hometown airport. I always like to emphasize that. Yeah. Um, and we're very glad to be there. And every time people fly local, they support local business. Great. So we appreciate that. Thank you, John Rimbold. Thank you. Director of the Hilton Head Airport and the Buford Executive Airport. When we come back, we're going to talk to Tim Wood about everything that's going on around town. Stay with us.